the the plant killed me and I'm on earth calmer I'm the coming feed why are you searching for me here you know where I am you left me behind years ago you can't find me now we're too far apart in distance and time I'm in my spacesuit on earth amongst beautiful trees blue skies green grass leaves on the ground and there she is just where he found her but also on a grassy island where that I can you? use my spacesuit to jump to whoa whoa where is she where is she she's over there I think oh boy Wait, stop moving. I need to get there. I need to get to you. Come on. Uh, stop moving. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, no. Oh, I fell <laughs> to the bottom of the planet. And I died, and then I undied. And now I am not died. But I'm surrounded by moss. And footsteps. Underground. I'm underground. These aren't really footsteps. They're more like drops. Like blood. Kind of like moss blood. Uh-oh. A lot of blood. The creature has the woman now. I hope she's still alive. She's clearly been injured. Drops of a woman's blood grow blight, grow blight, glow bright green on the cavern floor. I hope she's still alive, but I can't imagine how I'll be able to help her if that monster is nearby. It's not really a monster either. It's it it, it lived here first. We turned it into a monster. We as humans tend to do that. Abyss. Um, oh, there's another portal-looking thing over there. Oh, and there's some scary grass. Oh, this is lots of green blood. It's not a good sign. This is kind of the same sort of structure. There's another one of those two gold blocks puzzles. This is sort of the same kind of landscape. Just underground. I don't know. Right, let's push them together. Oh, there she is. There she is. She's not bleeding at all. She's just sitting. Or squatting. Just over there. And the monster is like right behind her. Oh, jeez. Pillars are crumbling. Let's hurry up and push it together. There's the light. Oh my god. Oh, oh 
she's... She's becoming part of the plant. Although we sort of already made her part of the plant. The experimenters did. And now I'm in a cavern. Wait, how did this happen? How am I in a cavern now? The experimenters kind of turned her into a plant. And so I guess the, it looks like the plant kind of took her in. That's crazy. She saved my life. I lead a she sacrifice. The, entire planet. the woman I've been following is gone. Well, no. She's still here. All around me, having given herself up to the monster to save this planet. She willingly saved her life, saving her life-saving cure at her own expense. I'd like to think she's more at home here, merged with this strange and beautiful ecosystem than in the company of a lowly human being such as myself. Whatever the case, she saved my life along with countless other beings on this planet. So she kind of, she took her, like, her moss-creating ability and kind of and merged with the creature, I guess, and let the whole creature kind of be able to do that? Is that the idea? It seems like it. This is very trippy to walk on. It seems like that's what happened. So she kind of became one with the plants in order to help the plants keep growing. Because the problem was that... Oh, no. Well, I was supposed to go down here anyway. It's a shortcut. Rainbow Road style. Oh, and now I fell off. Now I fell. Poof. Crumble. Fall. Slide. Dead. Uh, I was supposed to go down here. And then here. Yeah, this road is a bit hard to follow. It's all twisty and windy. I'm just gonna jump off to this one because I don't want to follow that. I think this is the way. This is the way to the bottom. Is this where I came up in the... Oh, this is where I came up? No, it's not. Well, this goes down to the bottom. Is that not where I'm supposed to go? I guess it doesn't seem like it. Seems like I'm supposed to go up there. Can I jump up there with my jumpy pack? Yeah, this this seems more accurate, more like it. So, what conclusion can we come to from this? Well, first, this is definitely not a lifeless planet. It was a dying planet. That it was. It was a dying planet. But our friend's noble sacrifice has helped the planet regain its strength and its ability to sustain itself. And for that, we must thank her. I guess. That doesn't... Oh, jeez. That doesn't change the fact that we're stuck here. Now, where the heck am I? This is the... Is that where I came from? And I'm supposed to go there? I'm just gonna jump to this one. Because this seems to be the correct one. Oh my god. That's where I started. So this, right? That's where I started. So this is... Let's try this again. I need to go that way. 
And that one kind of leads that way. Can I jump? And I'm just... I don't understand the pathways. Can I just jump here? And then jump from here to there? Yes. The answer is yes. Excellent. And now from here up to the top of this. And then down. But is that... Not, is that where I came from? I'm super lost. Oh, I am supposed to go down. Maybe. Is this where I came from? I don't know. I died so many times it got turned around. I don't know where I went or where I'm coming from, but the game saved. So I assume this is correct. But the music stopped, so maybe not. And now the spirals are going the wrong direction. And this kind of looks like where I started. Right? Because I was supposed to... I was following the spirals forward before. Now I'm following them backward. Is this the wrong way? This is the wrong way. I think this is the wrong way. No, I guess it wasn't the wrong way, because I don't recognize this, and the music just started. And there's kind of an algae field and an algae volcano. And some algae pillars to jump on, so I did get through that thing correctly. That was really confusing. That was really, really confusing. Dying a few times and getting turned around on that mess is not recommended. But I think this is the right way to go now. Oh, there's a... T interesting. A satellite dish, not something I expected to see on this planet. I suppose 70s Russians would have a satellite dish. So it, it does make some sense. Let's see what's there. Well, I see blood. Oh no, but the blood is... We, she's gone. That's not blood. That's just like shells. Or something. Rocks. Something like that. And... It's a boarded up door. And so some documents. Does lead back Portal time. time. But hundreds of years in the future. Oh boy. The portal to this planet was a one-way transport mechanism, as we discovered following our initial arrival. That's gotta be no fun. To be like, oh yeah, alien portal, awesome, and then get there and be like, can't go home ever. Can't tell anyone ever. We originally assumed it would work like any other doorway, that we could return through the same portal at our own convenience. This was not the case. Thankfully, we eventually discovered the second portal, the departure portal leading back home. This two-portal system was actually very efficient for transport purposes, and we developed our settlements appropriately to regulate travel back and forth as necessary. Can I go home? We didn't comprehend at first was the lost time encountered through the portals. While transport happens quickly, time on Earth and this planet are not in sync. We soon realized a week on this world was a month back on Earth. When the portals failed, the time disparity became great. When the arrival portal malfunctioned and killed so many people, we became afraid to use the departure portal to return to Earth. Over time, we started to see images we did not recognize on the other side. There were strange, towering structures much more advanced than anything we had ever seen before. Some believed the portal had recalibrated to the homeworld of the portal creators, but I knew the truth. The images on the portal were of Earth, but centuries in the future. Unfortunately, we never tested our hypothesis given the completely unstable power reactions from the portal. It was far more likely we would suffer a tra tragic transportation accident like our comrades from home attempting to reach us. No volunteers, and eventually no further opportunities before the portal went dark and cold. In retrospect, I wish we'd taken our chances. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? 
Russians who didn't take their chances, I'm gonna take my chances. Because I want to go home. Because there's nothing for me here on this lifeless planet. This lifeless planet covered in algae and monsters of the scary plant life and my comrades are dead. My oxygen is running out. There's nothing for me here. And what is on the other side of this hill? Oh, it's more hills. Oh, there it is! The return portal! And it's working! It's just glowing. And it looks like Earth in the future. And there's the monsters, the big towering plants. And they look like they're ready to escort me through the towering portal. Oh, they're all over the place. Look at them. There's one over there. There's one over there. Wow. There's some more in the distance. What an epic view that is. Oh my god. I just I'm going to I'm going to shut up and just appreciate this. working. Is this a control board? No, it's just a thing. Are you ready to go home? Let's go home. As I understand, you've kept your wife on life support. It sounds like you haven't been able to let her go. Actually, I did it for her. I want to give her every chance to live again. Even if I'm not here. Let's not go home. Let's go find our wife. In the Earth of the future. Are we home? There was a marker there, and there's a platform that looks like this is the receiving end of the portal. And here it is. Lifeless Planet by David Board. A Stage 2 Studios production presented by Lace Games. Digital Distribution by Kiss. David Board. Story Design and Development. Music by Rich Douglas, voice of actors, artists, Bob Carter, astronaut, Marina, that person, Alita. I can't read them that fast. Oh, that was... That was fun. That was such a great climax with the portal and the music and just the swell behind it. Kickstarter funders, wait, I should... I'm in here somewhere. Kickstarter premium supporters. Wait, I need to find myself in the credits. Wait, we have to read all the credits. Premium supporter? I don't think I was a premium supporter. I think I was just a regular supporter. Kickstarter supporters. Here we go. Here we go. Ryan Giglio. There I am. There I am. <laughs> Max, but next to Max Buxkern. Ryan Giglio. Yay! I'm in the credits. First time I've ever been in the credits in a video game. It makes me feel good. All of these people, thank you for making this game possible, because David Board got such an overwhelming amount of support to make this, and 
It was just so... It was really cool to see so many people get behind a vision and, like, really let it happen. It was really awesome. So... What will you miss most about I'm going to let these... Oh, they're done. Well, my wife, first of all, and, and Earth itself. All of it. She saw the beauty of this planet long before I did. You truly loved her. Of course. And if you lose someone you love, even 20 light years probably isn't enough distance to make you stop missing them. 